Etrachan thought. My name is Kuroki. I'm just a regular employee that you can find anywhere. We've got no time to spare for this week either! Make sure we meet our deadlines! Sorry everyone, but that means that you're gonna have to work late today too! Yes sir! The company that I work at is very sketchy. Well, not really. But it was just a very busy time for us, so we often ended up going home fairly late. Uh, you know, it would be nice to be able to leave work and go home on time every once in a while. Ah! I forgot to text Yuzuriha that I was gonna go home. Where's my phone? Hmm? What's that? A person? There's a guy that's just standing in front of my apartment? What's he doing at a time like this? That has to be the sketchiest thing I've seen. He's not moving at all. Even when I'm walking right behind him. That's kinda spooky. Hmm? Huh? Wait. Is that a police officer? Which means... I guess he's just on patrol? He seems kinda... off. I wonder if he's really even a cop. Are you not coming home yet? Ah! I was a little spooked out by the mystery man, so I almost ran home! I'm home! Welcome back. Sorry, I texted you because you were a little late coming back. No, no, I'm sorry I didn't reach out to you. Ah, that reminds me! That guy from earlier. Huh? I wonder if he's still there. Huh? What is that guy doing? I don't know. He's been looking up at our apartment from earlier. I mean, he kind of looks like a police officer, but... I made sure to lock up more than usual before going to bed, because I was worried about the creepy guy that was outside. The next day... Ugh. Working late again. It's so late. Someone please... Help me. Oh yeah. That weird cop looking guy from yesterday wasn't here today. What was that guy doing anyway? Wait, is he a ghost or something? Maybe I'm so tired that I'm about to die, and I'm suddenly gaining a sixth sense. No, no. Yuzuriha saw him too. That's not possible. But I'm so scared. Whatever. I'm off tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go home and get some good rest. What the? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Huh? Kuroki, are you home? Wait, what? Use a rehab. Kuroki? Uh, no, 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 no! I was just walking past her apartment, and she just came bursting through the door out of the blue! And what about that nosebleed? Well, the door smacked me in the face when it swung open and... Ah! Uh, a woman. Huh? <laughs> What's going on? Why are you running out of your house with just a towel on? Th there was a stalker. There might have been a stalker in my house, so I just ran. Huh? Uh, oh my god. So, so we just quickly ran away and... Achoo! Did you call the police? Uh, I didn't see the stalker directly, so... Whatever, come on inside for now. Kuroki, I want you to check the front door and make sure that no one suspicious comes this way, okay? Okay! A few minutes later... S sorry for using your dryer and borrowing your clothes. It's my clothing, so they might be a little big on you. Sorry about that. No, no, thank you so much for your kindness. I was hanging around, but I didn't see or notice anyone suspicious around. I see. Mm Maybe it was just my mistake or something. I had some things happen that kind of made me worried, so maybe I was just thinking too much. I'm sorry for causing this kind of ruckus. But I don't know if you should just go back home right now. Yeah, I think it's way too dangerous for that right now. You definitely shouldn't be alone in a situation like this. If you're okay with it, we'd be willing to go to the police with you right now. What? That's gotta be too much to ask for. Oh, please, of course not. I don't think I can go to sleep with how worried I'd be about you. Please, let us go with you. Yazuriya-san! Kuroki-san! Okay, thank you. That's how we went with Tsutsuchi-san to the police station to file a report. On the way there, Tsutsuchi-san was completely alert everywhere we went, so we asked her what happened up to this point. It all started about two months earlier. I would be walking around, and I just felt like someone was watching me from behind. 
Hmm? At first, I thought it was just me thinking too much, but... Eventually, I would find things in my mailbox and someone would call my phone and not say anything. Those kinds of things continued and I just knew that it was a stalker. Then I went to the police to talk to them about it, but... They would say things like, are you sure you're not just victimizing yourself? Are you sure you're not imagining things? The letters and phone calls might just be harmless pranks. What the hell? That's so horrible. That's why you weren't so sure if you should call the police earlier, huh? Yeah. Oh, but... The female police officer that was listening next to me actually listened to what I was saying from the beginning. And thanks to her, she said she would be enhancing the patrols in the area, but things have been escalating recently. And that's how you felt like the stalker might have been in your house? Yes. I was in the bath. I had locked up for sure, but... Suddenly out of the blue I heard... Hmm? What? Wait, that sound! That was a door! Are these footsteps? What do I do? I immediately locked the bathtub door and stayed quiet the whole time. After about 30 minutes or so, I finally mustered up the courage to go out into the living room to check things out, but... I couldn't find anyone in there, so I felt relieved. But then I realized... I heard the footsteps of someone coming into the room, but I didn't hear anyone leaving the house. Then I heard something coming from the bathroom and I just ran out of my room in a hurry. That's definitely not just you thinking too much. I you think so? Yeah. Oh, so much help the police patrol was, huh? You know, speaking of the police, that suspicious guy, I wonder if he's got something to do with this. Ah! That female officer! Hmm? Karin san, right? You were the person that helped me out before. Susuji san. I guess this means something else happened. Yes. And who are these two? I'm a neighbor. I'm with him. We live together. Afterwards, we followed Karin-san and explained everything that happened earlier. Additionally, I told her about the strange man that I saw last night that looked like he was wearing a police uniform. I see. I was in front of your apartment right before midnight or so. Yes, ma'am. I saw him too. At first, I thought it was just a police patrol or something but he was acting awfully... off for being police. We were talking about how he might be some suspicious person dressing up pretending to be a police officer. Okay, thank you for the information. sasuji san I would like to get a little more info from you. Are you okay to talk some more? Y yes of course. I'm going to send her off after I'm done with the interview, so please, don't worry about her. Thank you. She should be in good hands then. Alright, we'll be leaving now then. If there's anything that comes up, just come over to our house, okay? You don't have to worry. Huh? But... Oh, seriously, don't worry about it. We're worried about you, too. It sucks that this is the reason why, but as your neighbor, I want to keep getting along with you. We would appreciate it. Thank you so much! I'll be sure to return your clothes later, too. We started on our way back home after that. I never would have expected that to happen later on that night. Hmm? What's that sound? I'm freaking loud. No! Get away from me! Huh? That voice! That was Tsuchuchi san! Use a Riha! Use a Riha! Huh? What is it? I heard someone scream! I think it was Tsuchuchi san! Huh? I'm gonna go check her out! Use a Riha! You stay in the house! Because it could be dangerous! Uh, okay! Why? Why? You got me! Why would you? Why would you go into another man's house like that? Tsuchuchi san! Tsuchuchi san! Are you okay? K Kuroki san! It's that guy, huh? My Tsuchuchi chan. I'm not going to forgive you. Kuroki san, don't open that door! Huh? What? Never gonna forgive you! Never gonna forgive you! Jesus! What kind of steroids is this guy using? What do I do? The police! But my phone is in the bedroom! Sasuji san! Sasuji san, over here! Yes, sir, you son! Sasuji chan! Sasuji chan! Wait! Don't leave me behind! Come on, hurry! Sasuji chan! Sasuji chan! Huh? Ah! Sasuji san! She's fine, don't worry. Ah, oh, thank God. Huh? Where is he? 
down. Huh? Oh my god, he's not dead! This is the second floor. At worst, that guy is probably knocked out, unfortunately. Uh, right. Uh, uh, the police! Called them. Ambulance? Called them too. Yuzuri Hasama. That's how the stalker ended up arrested. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Karin san. You didn't do anything wrong. You even sent me back to my house after that. You checked everywhere from inside the house to the balcony and everything. No, but I heard whoa, everything whoa, about whoa, the suspicious whoa, whoa. man from Kuroki san and Yuzuri san, the time, and even the clothes he was wearing, and yet I never even suspected. I can't believe that kind of horrible person was so close to me. Huh? So, are you saying... Yes. That police officer that you two saw that night was a real police officer. The man that was arrested was my colleague and fellow police officer, Hideki. Susuji-san, I'm so terribly sorry for having to put you through this kind of terrifying experience. Oh, please don't worry about it. According to Karin-san, the day before the attack, Hiragi was walking around, claiming that he was patrolling the area. He was checking out all of the tenants of the apartment. Yuzuriha was working from home and didn't leave the house, so he didn't know of her existence. The day of, Hiragi was off duty, so he snuck into tsutsuji sans home. tsutsuji san noticed him, so she ran into my house. After hearing the commotion and using the information he had from earlier visits, he assumed she ran into her boyfriend's house, so he just jumped to conclusions and freaked out. To seal the deal between their eternal and fictitious love, he moved over to the balcony of the house next door because he knew the police wouldn't look there, which meant that he was hiding the whole time while Yuzuriha and I were asleep. He waited till Tsutsuchi-san was alone to attack her. If the criminal had one different thought, then he might have actually pointed that knife towards us. I'm just glad that everyone turned out to be okay. By the way, the police officer that Tsutsuchi-san talked to before, who kind of questioned her about the stalker, was actually Officer Hiragi. I guess it all made sense since he was just hiding his own behavior. It's interesting that she didn't notice who he was when he showed up, though. tsutsuji san moved out after that. The whole thing came to an end, but she probably didn't want to remember anything. She started living in a pretty far place, but we still stay in touch. It's been a while since we're all together and eating, right? Right? I hope tsutsuji san is doing well. Right. And today is... Coming! Yuzuriya-san! Kuroki-san! Hello! Susuji-chan, is this? Yes, I just wanted to make sure you two met him. Let me introduce you guys. This is my boyfriend, Tokusakun. Nice to meet you! I've heard everything about the brave and heroic things you two have done for her. I heard that you two saved her life. Oh, please! That's a bit dramatic. <laughs> Wait, you two! That ring! Yeah, finally. This man took a sweet time, you know. Uh, stop it! How long are we gonna be talking about all this at the entrance, huh? Let's all talk inside. <laughs> right. Alright, all right, thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. We started getting along because of that incident, but we still love to hang out with tsutsuji san from time to time. こんな目にあったら景観が信用できなくなっちゃうに決まってます。ストーカー問題って実害が出ないと取り合ってもらえない可能性があったりと対処が難しいですよね。何せよ隣に住んでる人が頼れる方でよかったです。皆さんはどう